So before we do anything else on this channel, the first thing that I would like to talk about is people's excuses not to travel. I talk to people all the time. They always say, oh, we envy you guys. You're always going somewhere and things like that. Well, the reason we're going somewhere, it's because we pick up and go which takes me to the very first excuse. You don't know where to start. Well, you start by waking up in the morning uh, and you can leave. So this morning, you see me right now. It's beautiful out here. We're down in Laughlin, Nevada. Um, we live in Las Vegas, so it's only about an hour and a half away from here. Um, but anyway, this morning at nine o'clock when we woke up, we didn't know we were gonna go anywhere. <laughs> here we are, it is three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, we're on the river. It's absolutely amazing out. So start by just deciding that you're gonna go somewhere. You can go with friends, you can go with your spouse. Um, travel becomes cheaper, which is gonna take me to another excuse later on. If you do travel with someone and if that's a concern for you, then I would suggest doing that. Otherwise, just get in the car and go somewhere. You're going to enjoy it. There is nothing more empowering as well as uh, giving you a sense of adventure than spontaneous travel and i'm sure you would enjoy it which brings me to excuse number two i didn't plan anything well you don't have to plan anything you can again spontaneous travel uh, if it's within two three hours from where you live uh, it's nothing for you to just leave on a friday afternoon friday evening and go somewhere um, Yes, I know. The other excuses will come later, uh, kids and pets and um, arranging everything and things that you have to do for the weekend. But ultimately, it's a matter of um, not planning, but rather prioritizing. So if traveling is really important to you, and if this is something you absolutely love to do, the most important thing to do is at least once a month, uh, get up and go somewhere just spontaneous on, on the spur of the moment. Uh, of course, if you need to travel somewhere farther away and or you wanna take a cruise or you wanna do anything like that, by all means, uh, buy a ticket in advance, plan at least two, three, four weeks in advance and that would really help. But don't let the lack of planning uh, stop you from going anywhere and having fun. Excuse number three, no time you have to work. Uh, be at work, at a company be, being work uh, because you're self-employed or being work around the house. None of the three of them are actually a good excuse. Um, work at a company, yes, you have to be there, but you have to take a few days off a year anyway. You might as well take them during the week because it is truly more expensive to travel on weekends. Um, and also there are a lot more people. So if you are one of those people that truly enjoy being out with not that many people around you and getting to do things in your own time, just take a day or two off during the week. You will be recharged for the entire rest of the month and not only you, but your company will benefit from it in the long run. Um, work at home. Uh, if the house is undusted for, for another week, I guarantee you it's not the end of the world. Just pick up and go. You'll enjoy it. Your kids will enjoy it. Pets will enjoy it. Uh, just pick up and go. You'll come back recharged and, and dusting and, and cleaning the house will seem like uh, not such a big chore when you come back. Excuse number four, and I hear this a lot. Maybe those excuses are not necessarily in order. Um, it is too expensive. Yes, we all know travel can be expensive. I mean, you can book an entire hotel if you want, and or you can take, uh, you know, a $20,000 trip down to the Maldives but don't let that stop you from traveling an hour or two away. It is a little bit more expensive on weekends than it is during the week. So if you get a chance to take one or two days off, uh, do take them during the week. Plan with a friend or something like that. A night out and basically staying overnight somewhere could be as little as $50 maybe to, to just go and be out and just completely recharge. So 
Don't let someone telling you that it is expensive to travel or you telling yourself that it's expensive to travel uh, stop you from going somewhere. It is absolutely not. It's affordable. Uh, travel has gotten a lot more affordable during the years. Gas is not that expensive and really hotels are not that expensive these days either. Uh, we are in Laughlin. Hotel rooms start at $24 for the night. You can't get much less expensive than that. So don't don't let that stop you. Look at an app, look at something, and see if at least you can make it a possibility. Okay, maybe you didn't save enough for this week, but at least go next week if possible. So again, don't let the thought that a trip could be too expensive stop you from travel. And one of the last things I hear from people all the time is, um, you know, we can't just pick up and go. We have kids, we have pets. Trust me, your kids are going to learn history and geography a lot better on the road than in a classroom. So if you need to pull them out of school for half a day or something like that, it is not going to be a complete strategy. And maybe you don't even have to. I mean, maybe you can manage to go on weekends or something like that and at least take them somewhere. They will enjoy it. Those are the memories that you make with your family that they will truly remember as they grow up. As for pets, um, there is an answer for that too. Most hotels these days accept pets. You can make arrangements for them to be with you. Uh, so it is not a problem whatsoever. And I'm sure your puppy would love sticking his nose out the window and, and going somewhere. So again, don't let uh, pets, don't let kids, don't let work, don't let them thought the travel is too expensive, and certainly do not let lack of planning stop you from going somewhere as early as tomorrow morning. Just pick up and go and you will be completely empowered by spontaneous travel. Enjoy!